going to show you how I install purse feet onto the bottom of a bag. This is obviously presuming that this has um, a bottom um, piece. This is just a scrap piece of vinyl that I have to replicate um, a bag bottom. As you can tell it is a replication because it is not even in any way, shape or form. It is just obviously a replication just to show you how to install, install the feet and how I measure them up as well. So this would work if you were installing feet in a pattern that it didn't call for bag feet. So there wasn't any um, pattern placement in within the pattern. So this is how I would, this is how I would work it out. So what I would first of all do is I would find my centers. So I would draw along the middle and then I would find my centers along the edge and draw along. So this would mark my center. So if I was placing a bag foot in the center, that is where I would mark it. If I was um, making a smaller bag and I only wanted four bag feet, I would mark them out from the edges, which I'll explain in a second. If I was doing a bigger bag and I wanted six feet, what I would do is I would mark four out from the corners and then I would mark two out along this line and place six in total. As a rule of thumb, I usually tend to place five um, feet in, in my bags, unless it's a really quite small bag that I do want feet on and then I'll just use four. So I would, I would go with the centre and then I would work out where I wanted my feet based on the edge. So how I usually do it, I'll just get my other ruler is if I have um, a bag where my um, seam allowance is a, third, a three eighths or a half an inch and the bag pattern, the, the, the bag bottom isn't particularly big, I'll usually um, mark by about one and a half inches from the edge so obviously this this piece is really quite small so I would maybe come in by about one and a quarter so I would do one and a quarter and one and a quarter and mark my placement there and then do the same one and a quarter from this end one and a quarter from this end and mark my placement there because what I'm doing then is I'm allowing for my seam allowance on either side as well and the bag foot isn't going to be too close to that seam. Obviously this is quite a small um, piece for a bag bottom that would usually be bigger than this but this was just sort of what I had on hand. So I usually find about one and a half is, is about what I use for placements if there isn't bag feet placement within the pattern. If the, the if the bag is really quite a large bag and you know the the bag bottom is really quite big, maybe it's look at doing one and a, one and three quarters or possibly even two inches each from the corner. But just have a bit play about just by marking them and seeing where you think will look um, well, what you can do if you're unsure, so say if I was working on this bag and my seam allowance was 3 eighths, what I could actually do is draw my seam allowance all the way around. So that would give me a good idea of where those bag feet would be placed once the bag was constructed as well. So that is how I would work out my bag feet placement if there wasn't um, instructions to do so within the bag pattern. So how then I place 
my bag feet. So these ones that I have are screw feet. So they just come apart like so. And I will mark a hole where the bag foot is going to go. So if you were then just to put the foot, if you were just to put the screw through and then screw the foot in place, you're going to have a gap. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a gap between where the bag foot ends and where the vinyl, the, the, the bag bottom is. And that's because that is screwed in as far as it will go. Some bag bottoms will have foam in them, so they might be a bit thicker. But if you find that the it isn't very thick and you want to bulk out the placement so that the bag foot sits against the, the vinyl or the fabric that you're using, what you would do is just use a little bit of extra foam or a little bit of fusible face. You could even, if you just had deco, if you only had deco the lighter hand, just use a small piece and fold it, um, just to give that extra level of depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this and punch a hole through. I'm then going to feed the screw through first. and then feed it through my pattern piece and then screw my bag foot in place. And then I'm just going to use my screwdriver and then you can see that that, that foot sits against the pattern piece much better. There is a little bit of space so you could probably put another layer if you wanted to, a piece of foam might work a little bit better because it's got that little bit more depth. But you would just play around until you were happy. What I tend to do as well when I am putting bag feet in is because they do get a lot of wear and tear, they do get knocked, bumped quite a bit, is I will actually pop a little bit of glue such as this on the, on the screw so that just helps the grip where it's screwed into the actual piece as well it just helps the the bag foot stay in place longer it just helps the longevity of the hardware and um, that's just something that i've found that personally works really well so the other thing that i will also do is once i'm happy with the placement of my purse feet and I'm happy with the um, the extra structure that I've got behind the purse foot screw um, and they're all in place I will then also use some tape over the back just to stop the um, screw the hardware from poking through and affecting the lining in, in, in any way. It does also help stop the screw becoming unraveled and falling out. So that is basically how you install purse feet, um, well the screw in purse feet. Um, if you were doing um, ones that had prongs, you would install in exactly the same way. You would just Feed the purse foot through from this side, turn over, add your extra structure that you wanted, put the back, um, the back plate on the same way that you would do um, in the tag video that I did and the magnetic snap video that I did. Then you would push the prongs out and then place your tape over the top and that is how you would install purse feet that had prongs on the back. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, 
please do give it a like please do consider subscribing to the channel and until next time see you soon and happy sewing bye